Hey babes, welcome, welcome back to my channel. I'm Kay Reese. Thank you guys so much for being here. Today's reading is going to be How Are You About to Shock Others? So we're gonna jump right on into this reading. I hope you guys are doing well. Thank you guys for liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing. Anything that you do energetically, let me know if you're part of my collective. I'm very grateful, I'm very thankful. So let's hop right on into this reading. We're gonna get three of these cards. Make these messages as clear as possible. How is pound number one about to shock others? How is pound number one about to shock others? I was pound number one about to shock others. Make these messages as clear as possible. I was pound number one about to shock others. I was pound number one about to shock others. Make these messages as clear as possible, universe. I was pound number one about to shock others. Okay, so bottom of the deck, we have relationships. Um, so the cards that I got for you was patience fair and envy so i'm noticing that all the cards are like you know yellow or orange kind of i feel like doors is opening for you like hmm doors are opening for you maybe you're embarking on a new journey in life maybe um you know um we are always changing we are always transforming we're always growing and maturing you could be in a state or in a space where you are um I heard manifestations i feel like there's yeah there's new doors opening for you i feel like there's um blockage is being removed for you i feel like the way that you're about to um shock others is the way that you was being very patient the way that you waited for something you could be someone that's a very impatient person you could be somebody that likes things to move fairly quickly or you like things to like you know move on your type of time um, i feel like the way that you're about to shock others is um I, f I also feel like with this fearless card i feel like you're someone that's very fearless usually most of the time like you are someone that doesn't you don't fear the future. You know what I'm saying? Like, you're not one of those people that's saying, like, I don't know what's happening next. I don't know what's next. This, that, blah, blah, blah. You're usually someone that's kind of, I feel, you could be a person that's kind of usually, how can I say it? I feel like you're a goal getter. You're usually, like, a goal getter. Fear said that I, I, I realized that I am testing my resolve to live in the energy of love. So I feel like, how you're about to shock others is the fact, like I said, you're someone that's probably very impatient. You're someone that doesn't like to wait for certain things. I feel like the way that you're about to shock others is the way that you're about to sit here and really wait for certain stuff. And um, I don't know, there's something that you're, you, I feel like you're you're scared of something, but you're usually not scared of anything. And I feel like that's about to shock others. There's something, you could be waiting for something in the mail. You could be waiting for um, some type of approval or, you know, some type of notice or something like that. And that's about to shock people that how scared you are or how worried you are about the result okay i feel like that's one way that should definitely about to shock others envy says i am the same as everybody but with different challenges challenges i feel like some of you could be you could maybe even be um envious it's i don't jealous and envy is kind of the same thing but i feel like there's something that somebody has that you really want or you want it for a while and I feel like the way that you're about to shock others is the fact that, like I said, there's something that somebody else wanted that you didn't get as of yet, but you're next up. You know what I'm saying? You're next up. So it's coming right, it's coming right now. If you are, this this is, I, I really have a, a thing and I have a complex about it. You ever wanted something so bad that everybody else around you started getting it before you got it, but you got to understand is your time coming up right after. If you, if let's say that you wanted, um, uh, Let's say that you wanted, uh, I'm, I'm going to say a baby. <laughs> Let's say you wanted a baby. Next thing you know, you go outside, you see everybody pregnant. Everybody's pregnant. Like, what the hell? Everybody's pregnant. You find out your cousin's pregnant. You find out your sister's pregnant. You finding out that, you know, your best friend is pregnant. Like, you find out all these people is pregnant. And then you're like, damn, I'm still not pregnant because it's happening next. Okay? It's happening next. I feel like the way that you're, okay, that makes sense. That makes sense. I feel like you're fearing the fact that it's probably not going to come to you as soon as you think it is. Because like I said, I feel like you're a very impatient person. The way that you're about to shock others is that you're really about to sit here and you're about to wait because you want this to really happen for you. Whatever the situation is, you really want it to happen for you. Make these messages as clear as possible. How is pound number one about to shock others? How is pound number one about to shock others? Make these messages as clear as possible. Okay. We have, um... The High Priestess, Pisces Energy. How is pile number one about to shock others? We have the Five of Cups. Five of Cups is um, Scorpio Energy. How is pile number one about to shock others? Make these messages as clear as possible, universe. 
We also have the Ace of Cups, so Scorpio Cancer so Pisces energy. How is Pound number one about to shock others? We have the Eight of Swords, which is um, Aquarius, no, Gemini energy. How is Pound number one about to shock others? We also have the Seven of Swords, Aquarius energy. How is Pound number one about to shock others? Make these messages as clear as possible. Give me one more card. How is Pound number one about to shock others? Ooh. How's Pound number one about to shock others? Make these messages as clear as possible, universe. We also have the Nine of Swords here. Interesting. Nine of Swords is um, Gemini energy, the overall energy. What the fuck? We have the Six of Swords, which is Aquarius energy. And we also have here the Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, things is not moving as fast as you you think it is. That's the crazy, that's the crazy thing. But I feel like the way that you're about to shock others is the way that... Um, I feel like with the the high priestess, I'm sitting here like, you know, your intuition is heightening. I feel like... Um, there's something oh god let me i don't want to break it i feel like there's something that you said right and it's going to become your reality you know that's why we got to be careful what we say whether this is a good thing or a bad thing sometimes you got to be careful what you say because what you say like you gonna reap what you sow like whatever you said usually it's gonna come into rea your reality whether this is now or um later or another lifetime is you know what i'm saying your words have power but with the high priestess being here, the way that um, you're about to shock others is um, showing people how spiritual, spiritually inclined that you truly are and how you are able to manifest whatever you want. I feel like you are someone that is, um, you're very spiritual and I feel like that's another thing that's going to shock others as well. Like how in tuned you are. Um, with the Five of Cups being here, I feel like another um, another way that you're about to shock others is the um, with how emotional you are and how much you really care about a certain situation. And how and I feel like small minor things make you sad. I feel like how emotional you are, how sensitive you are, um, how much you really care about something. I don't know. There's something that's just like I don't know what the situation is, but it's it's giving me like I don't feel like you have always been like this. For some of you, you haven't always been this type of person where everything bothers you, like the smallest things make you cry or the smallest thing make you like ugh. You know, make you so sad um, with the, um, or hurt. I feel like with the Ace of Cups being here, I, I feel like um, you have a newfound love either for yourself or for other people or both. Take it as it resonates. I feel like that's about to shock others how much you do love and care for certain things. <laughs> Excuse me. I feel like you was in a space where you wasn't so, um, so sensitive and you wasn't so, some of you could be pregnant. It doesn't have to be, of course, but some of you definitely could be pregnant. You could already be pregnant. That's that. I don't know why pregnancy is what I'm thinking about. But that, of course it's not for everybody. It's for whoever it, it resonates to. But I feel like that's the way that you're about to talk about this. How much you love and how much you want to give love and how much you care about things and how much... How sensitive you are, how affectionate you are. I also feel like with the Eight of Swords, um, the way that you're about to talk others is that you are stuck, or because we have fear there, this a situation, there's something that you're stuck in that you don't want to be in, and people didn't know that it was like maybe so bad or so toxic or it was unhealthy for you or you didn't want to be in that situation or you felt trapped in the situation. It, that's how you about to shock others. Like you, you, you're. I feel like you about to come out the woodworks and tell people what was going on in your personal life or how things is going in your personal life. Um, this could be with a, a friend, a relationship, work, you know, being, um, I feel like that's, a, that's another thing that's about to shock others. Cause everybody probably seen that you was doing so well for yourself and you was doing so good. You seemed like you was always so happy. And the fact is you just didn't want to tell people you didn't want nobody worrying about you. And I feel like you didn't want to be, a um, how can I say it? You didn't want to be a, uh, what the fuck is it called? What is it called? You didn't want everybody to like show you some sympathy or like oh Paul was what was me you know what I'm saying? I feel like with the seven of swords being here, I feel like the way that you're about to shock others. Like I said, um, there was something that you probably wasn't telling everybody with the eight of swords to the seven of swords. There's certain things that was going on in your personal life that you probably wasn't telling people. You was lying to them or you was trying to cover it up. So for some of you, I don't know why I feel like maybe this is a domestic violence um, situation or a toxic relationship or an unhealthy relationship. In your life, this like I said, it could be platonic or, or romantically, maybe even work. Take it as it resonates. But you know, I feel like that's the way that you're about to shock others because you're about to tell the truth. You're about to tell people. Um, even with this high priestess being here, I feel like some people may have gotten an idea or probably like, mm, maybe this could be happening with pal number one. Maybe pal number one has this and a third going on in their life. You know what I'm saying? Like people probably assumed, but they didn't have like the um the 
the evidence to be like, all right, this is this is exactly what it is, you know? Um, with the Knight of Swords being here, I just feel like how you about to shock others is tell people how um, depressed you are, how sad you are, how hurt you are, how things was going in your life, and how, um, yeah, everything is not what it seems. With the Six of Swords being here as the overall energy and how you're distancing yourself, I feel like with the Ace of Cups, I feel like another way that you're about to shock others is about, I think it's how much you, you love yourself and showing how much you love yourself. Take that as it resonates. Um... But yeah, I feel like you distancing yourself and you focusing on you and your emotions and things that you have going on mentally and physically and stuff like that, I feel like that's about to shock others. You telling people the truth and telling people what was really happening in your personal life, that's really about to shock others. Let's see what else we have. Make these messages as clear as possible, universe. How is pound number one about to shock others? I'll just take one card for this. How is pound number one about to shock others? How is pound number one? Oh. Two cards... Damn, two cards came out. And then we have this patience again coming out. What the hell? So we have number 36 and number 29. Number 36, patience, and number 29, hunger. Okay, I don't know what's up with this patience situation, but I feel like um, that's how you, like, you waiting to tell people what's going on in your personal life, I guess. That's how you about to shock others and how um, you kept it in for so long. Um, and I feel like you have a drive and you have a hunger to be better. You know, I feel like you have the hunger to be like this alpha male female now. You know what I mean? Let's see what else we have. Make these messages as clear as possible. How is pound number one about to shock others? How is pound number one about to shock others? How is pound number one about to shock others, okay? Yeah, we have number 31, bad health. Okay, we have number 18 child. Some of you, like I said, could be pregnant, doesn't have to be, but that's for some of you. So, with this number 31 bad health, I feel like that's how you're about to shock others like, how, like, physically and mentally unhealthy, and how you was in like a toxic situation. Something that was like, I don't know, for some of you, this could have been a mental thing or a physical thing. Like, you could have been getting physically, um, physically abused or mentally abused. Take it as it resonates. But I feel like you're walking away from that situation. you about to finally let it go. I hope so. But my beautiful pal number one, that's all I have for you. I hope that it resonated. If it did, let me know in the comment section. I would... <laughs> okay, I can't even talk. I hope you guys have a great day. And I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out. Hello, my beautiful pal number two. Sorry, I'm eating a croissant. But today's reading is going to be How Are You About to Shock Others? Thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you guys for liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing. I'm very grateful. I'm very thankful. All right, so we're going to hop right on into this reading. How is pile number two about to shock others? Make these messages as clear as possible, universe. How is pile number two about to shock others? Make these messages as clear as possible. How is pound number two about to shock others? Make these messages as clear as possible, universe. How is pound number two about to shock others, okay? We have surrender. How is pound number two about to shock others? We have trust. How is pound number two about to shock others? And we have a child, I already know. We have fear at the bottom of the deck. Okay, this is kind of similar to pound number one, but not really. I feel like we have surrender, trust, and purpose. So I feel like you are letting go and letting God or letting go and letting spirit, universe, have um, high power, whatever you decide that you would like to call that um, higher entity, okay? Take it as it resonates. I feel like um, you are finally in a space where the way that, what you're about to, wow, how you're about to shock others is by letting go of i'm not doing enough of this i'm not enough for that i'm just that and third blah 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 i feel like you're about to finally i don't I, i'm not gonna call it complaining and that's probably what people other people consider it consider it complaining because you repeatedly talk about certain stuff because you're not happy where you are in life but i'm gonna just say complaining even it's not complaining i don't know what to call it I don't know what to call it, but I'm going to sit there and I'm going to say that the way that you're about to shock others is like you're finally letting go of feeling like you're finally letting go of being in a low vibration, period, okay? Feel, feeling like you're in a low vibration, feeling like you're not doing enough, you, you're not enough, feeling like you don't have a purpose in life. I don't know if I said that. It's surrender, trust, and we have purpose here. So I just feel like you're going to be trusting spirit, universe, spirit, guys, things of that nature, and that's how you're about to shock others is that you're about to let things play out you know instead of you worrying worrying or saying like i don't know what's happening next 
Like this is, am I doing enough? Am I going to get that job that I applied for? Am I gonna get that house that I applied for? Am I gonna get this? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like you allowing things just to unfold like how it's supposed to unfold. Fold. And I feel like that's about to shock others because you're usually like one of those people, as soon as you hit sin, you're just like, fuck, why did I do that? <laughs> you know, like even if you make a really big purchase, you're like, damn, why did I do this? This, that, that, blah, blah, blah. So I feel like it's, it's about to shock people that you're not even complaining. I feel like it's because maybe you, you, you got some financial freedom or you just realize, like, damn, if I really want it, I have to spend money, you know? Or if I really want it, I have to, you know, I got to put my best foot forward. Let me see. Make these messages as clear as possible, universe. How is pound number two about to shock others? How is pound number two about to shock others? Make these messages as clear as possible, please, universe. Okay, we have number 21, the world card. How is pound number two? I think I said pound number one, child. How is pound number two about to shock others? How is pound number two about to shock others? Make these messages as clear as possible, universe. How is pound number two about to shock others? All right, so we have number six, the lover's card, Gemini energy. How is pound number two about to shock others? How is pound number two about to shock others? We have the nine of pentacles here. The nine of pentacles is um, Virgo energy. How is pound number two about to shock others? How is pound number two about to shock others? Make these messages as clear as possible, universe. How is pound number two about to shock others? Oh, okay, fine. We have the number four, the emperor card. We have the two of swords here. How is pound number two about to shock others? And we have the page of pentacles here, bottom of the deck. We have the queen of pentacles. Yeah, stability, I love it. We have the eight of swords here. So, I feel like the way that you're about to shock others, um, Aries energy, two of swords is what? Two of swords is Libra energy. So, you could be an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Gemini, Gemini, Libra, Aries. Boom. Okay. So, I feel like the way that you're about to shock others is simply, I feel like some of you could be moving. With the um, number 21 world card, some of you could be moving, some of you could be um, traveling or something like that. Maybe this is something that you not you don't normally do. I feel like um, with the world card to the emperor card right underneath of it, I feel like you are hmm, big boss energy. Because I heard big dick energy. when I Every time I see the emperor card, big D, it, like, it's like the first thing that pop in my head. I can tell you got big, big energy. But I feel like... Um, how you about to shock others is that I feel like you're taking control of your life. I feel like you are allowing God, your spirit guides, your spirit guides. Let's learn how to talk. <laughs> I feel like you allowing your, because I feel like you are divinely protected. And I feel like this is something that you know. I feel like you have very heightened intuition and you just like your gut feeling, your discernment is always on point, you know? And I feel like you are finally allowing that intuition, that discernment and these gut feelings to guide you you get what i'm saying i hope that makes sense i feel like you usually like you listen to it you listen to spirit and shit like that and um you you know the route that you should go down but you go the opposite route because it feels good or it feels comfortable or you know it's like this 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 just seems like it could be right instead of you going towards you know what you're nudged to do or what you are called to do. Usually the first option that you have is usually like, like the first option that you think of is usually the right option. You know, if you decide like, maybe I shouldn't deal with this person, you shouldn't deal with that person. If you feel like there, yeah, maybe I should, like if you have to pick A, B and C and they, your spirit guides are saying that you should pick B, pick B. You know what I mean? I feel like that's how you're about to shock others. You're about to really just follow spirit. I don't know. Maybe some of you are even changing your religious background or you jumping into spiritual, like you change it from spirituality to religion or, um, to religious, or you becoming, um, you going from being religious to spirituality. I don't know why I'm getting that, but that's for some of you. That's of course that's not for everybody, but I just feel like, um, I, 
this power is giving me like you are overthinker you were an overthinker and now you're not doing that no more and i feel like that's about to shock others like i said usually you're one of those people like as soon as you hit sin just like fuck <laughs> like i could have used that money for this i could have did this this and this you know now you'd be second guessing yourself you'd be second guessing yourself and i feel like what's about to shock others is that you're really about to just do what's best for you you know um and I feel like you're not about to care about anybody's opinion. I feel like even if you're not single, um, I feel like you're stepping into your individuality and enjoying being by yourself or um, maybe exploring new ideas that you have, um, exploring new things that you are starting to like. Um, maybe even exploring um, a bunch of different suitors or talking to uh, um, different people and stuff like that. I, I just feel like you are in a space where you just want to have fun with the page of pentacles being there here. I feel like some of you may have even started school, started work, and you're around more people now, you know? You're around more people, and I think that people may find you very attractive, okay? And I feel like the way that you're about to shock others is the way that you... I think you're about to change your whole appearance, maybe about to change your wardrobe, you're about to change your hairstyle, your hair color, something like that. I feel like you're going into things blindly instead of you sitting here like second guessing everything or trying to figure out the, your next big move. You know what I mean? I feel like you're going head first into situations. And I feel like you're getting out of the space of the Eight of Swords feeling like, oh, I'm trapped or, oh, I can't do this or I don't know what people are going to think if I do this. I don't know what, like, you, you're not, I feel like in this current state, like how you're shocking people is that you don't give a fuck about people's opinion. You don't care about people's opinion. I, I curse a lot. I'm just saying. I'm sorry. I'm, I mean, I'm not sorry, but I'm sorry. <laughs> I just feel like you are... I, some of you could have been recently single. You just got, you know... Some of you could even be finding... Because I, I'm, this Emperor card, I, I was about to be like, yeah, you know, you could be finding your divine partner, your divine masculine, this, that, I'm not feeling that. I feel like this this Emperor energy is you. You stepping into that big boss energy. You stepping into, I'm taking control of my life. I have, you know, I know the next best move. You know what I mean? And I feel like that's about, that's how you, you're about to shock people because this, this is new. You This is a newfound pound number two. New and improved. And you're not allowing no bullshit. You're not letting nothing slide. You cutting it off with no problem. Not even second guessing. Not trying to figure out why, how. You just like, you know, I'm giving you the two of swords. Scissors, bitch. We out of here. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, I feel like that's how you're about to shock others. I, I feel good. So I feel like you are finding your sense of purpose. You finding why you are lovable. You are loving yourself again. And you, you're understanding why people are really attracted to you or why people find you really cute and really... Like, you know, I feel like you just got this new sense of life. Maybe this new sense of purpose. Okay? That's how you're about to shock others. Your appearance is about to change. The people that you talk to and you're interested in is about to change. The people that you allow into your space and your time, that's about to change. Okay? You live in your best life. With this nine of pentacles here, you live in your best life. Money is the motive, but also your happiness is your motive as well. But your stability, that bag, most important thing. You know what I mean? Some of you could have even started a new um, business or something like that. And that's about to shock others as well. How business savvy you really are. Ooh, Jesus. My card is going to fall. You know what I mean? Hmm. Let's see what else we have. Make these messages as clear as possible. How is pound number two about to shock others? I'm here and don't touch my hair. I feel like either you guys are going to cut your hair or you guys are going to color your hair. You about to do something with your hair. Make these messages as clear as possible. How is pound number two about to shock others? How is pound number two about to shock others? We have number 17, self-reflection. How is pound number two about to shock others? I was probably too about to shock others. I'm gonna do it one more time. If it do all that nonsense, we're gonna move on. How's Pound number two about to shock others? Okay. You don't have to come out. Give me one card. How's Pound number two about to shock others? Make these messages as clear as possible, universe. How's pound number two about to shock others? We have number 37, poverty. Okay. And we have number five, mature man. Maybe some of you are meeting somebody new. We have number 16 at the bottom of the deck, power. So you step in to see your power. Um, 
So with number 17, um, self-reflection, I just feel like you are, like I said, you probably looking back on how you was and how you, um, you know, you was worried about other, um, worried about stuff and you was second guessing yourself and wondering, should you do it? How you should do it? This, that, that. And now you're just doing it. You know, I feel like that's how you're about to shock, shock others. I feel like you diving deep within yourself and realizing there's certain things that you didn't like, there's certain things that you was doing and you're just like, eh, let's try this another way. Okay, we have number 37, poverty. I feel like the way that you're about to shock others is realizing that you don't have to, you don't have to stay in this space of, you know, poverty, of not having it, not having enough. And it doesn't have to be just money. This could be a lot of different things. Okay. But I, I, I feel like just understand the way that you're about to shock others is definitely the fact of how you carry yourself, how you look, how you maintain your money, how you maintain your individuality, how you're not trying to be in a group with people, how you're not trying to like, you know, um, fit in where you don't fit in. Like you, I feel like you, you just found like this, the purpose card, you found a new sense of purpose. Okay. So pal number two, I hope that resonated with you. If it did, let me know in the comment section. I hope I wasn't too much all over the place or rambling too much, but that's all I have. Peace out, baby. Hello. Last but not least, my beautiful pal number three. Thank you guys so much for being here. Today's reading is going to be, how are you about to shock others? I'm feeling good. I hope you're feeling even better. Thank you guys for liking, comment, sharing, subscribing. I'm very grateful. I'm very thankful. That was a mouthful. <laughs> But we're going to jump right on into this reading. Please make these messages as clear as possible. How is pile number three about to shock others? How is pile number three about to shock others? Make these messages as clear as possible, please, universe. Let's try this again. How is pile number three about to shock others? How is pile number three about to shock others? Make these messages as clear as possible, please, universe. How is pile number three about to shock others? I'm about to shock others, okay? Mm, no. One more time. I was probably about to shock others. We have adversity. How's problem number three about to shock others? Problem number three about to shock others. Make these messages as close as possible. We have loneliness. I seen that. I didn't think it was gonna come out. How is pile number three about to shock others? How is pile number three about to shock others? And we have envy. Okay, bottom of the deck is relationships. So let me show you the cards that we got. We have adversity, loneliness, and we have envy. All right, let's put it in the order I just said. <laughs> Boom. All right. So, um, I feel like you're about to remove some type of blockage. It gets lonely at the top. That's what I'm hearing here as well. I feel like this was like, it's not a collective reading because there's definitely different messages and stuff, but, but it all has like kind of the same concept. So if you watched all of the, um, the whole entire reading is basically going to have kind of like the same concept, a little bit different messages. I just feel like you're about to remove some type of blockage. Every time I see adversity, it always reminds me of the, um, the tower card. So adversity says, I accept that challenges are the best way to learn loneliness. I know that I am never alone. Envy. I am, I am the same as everybody with different challenges. So I just feel like the way that you're about to shock others, I feel like you in, I split the deck. We got the tower card. I feel like you are either about to remove a blockage or there's about to be some blockage in your life and people are going to be shocked because you don't know how to move it or you don't know how to this 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 is a different type of tower like this is some shit whatever this um because a tower could be a situation this could be like i said a blockage this could be um you know something uh happened spontaneously or happened happened unexpected unexpectedly and you're just like what the fuck and I feel like you you realizing who's your real friends and who really is for you. I feel like that's something that's about to shock others. Is that opening your eyes to certain things and realizing who's faking, who's phony, and who's hating and who's not hating. Let's see. Make these messages as clear as possible. Universe, how is pile number three about to shock others? I feel like you eat, like you're walking away from certain people too. That's gonna shock people as well because you're walking away from friends that you know you have for years, family members that you know. We can't pick our family, but we can pick and choose who the fuck we want to fuck with, who we want to talk to, period. 
okay? Make these messages as clear as possible. How is pile number two about, sorry, how is pile number three about to shock others? How is pile number three about to shock others? Make these messages as clear as possible, please, universe. How is pile number three about to shock others? All right, so we have the strength card here. That's Leo energy. How is pile number two about to shock others? We have the five of swords here. The five of swords is um, Aquarius energy. How is pile number three about to shock others? We also have here the nine of wands, Sagittarius energy. How is pile number three about to shock others? I already know. How is pile number three about to shock others? Make these messages. What the hell? How is pile number three about to shock others? We have the Page of Wands, Sagittarius Leo Aries energy. How is pile number three about to shock others? We have the Wheel of Fortune. How is pile number three about to shock others? And we have the Ten of Cups, yep. We also have here the Justice card. And at the bottom of the deck, we have the Four of Wands. I'm trying to tell you, this 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 is the one. This is the one, not the two. So um, with the Strength card being here, how you're about to shock others is how, like I said, how strong you are and how confident you are of removing yourself from situations that do doesn't serve you, letting go of friends, letting people know that I, I feel like you always was able to talk for yourself and speak up for yourself. You was always able to do that. And that's something that you probably always did for sure, for sure, for true. But when it came to your friends or when it came to people close to you or around you, you didn't want to, um, you didn't want to cause altercations. You didn't want to argue. You don't like conflict, things of that nature. So you wouldn't say anything. You allow people to think what they wanted to think, say what they wanted to say. Of course, you probably had like these little arguments and stuff like that. And, you know, you probably wouldn't talk to people for like a, you know, a day, two days, allow them to cool down, allow yourself to cool down and let the situation die down a little bit. But I feel like, um, with how you about to shock others is that you're not, you're not dealing with that shit no more. With the five of swords being here, I feel like, um, people are not going to be able to continue to do that back and forth on and off and come in when they want to and make you upset, making you sad and you hearing shit like this crow right here. You ever heard of a crow, um... I don't know what to, how to what is it called, like their um, like the the sound that they make, and how I'm not gonna front. I like how crows look. I hate how they sound. It's very annoying. It's nagging. So I feel like the way that you're about to shock others is the fact that like you hearing stuff and it's like very annoying. It's dawning on you that you tired of hearing the same bullshit. You know, people keep telling you the same stuff. Like while your your head is busting. Like, you getting headaches, and this person's all happy and shit, and you keep hearing the same thing from this, like, either the same people, different people, like, you hearing rumors, you hearing a bunch of bullshit, and you're, you're, you're just like, what the fuck else is there to do? The best thing that you could do in that, and like I said, how you about to shock others with this nine of wands is build that um, sense of boundaries, setting boundaries and firm boundaries, not like, oh, okay, you do this, we're not going to talk for a little while, it's, I'm tired of hearing, and I'm tired of dealing with your bullshit. I'm done. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm done. And I feel like you are able to do this and you are doing it because you are leveling up and you are doing better for yourself. Now, is that fake or phony? Not at all. Not at all. Sometimes you have a lot of blessings and then, you know, you see people's true, true colors. And once you see people true colors and, you know, they show you who they really are, you're just like, all right, you're going to believe them the first time instead of you believing the second, third, fourth, fifth, or sixth time. You know, after this person have done re the repeated thing, you understand this person is basically a, a damn serial nagger. You know what I mean? I feel like with the page of wands being here, I feel like the way that you're about to shock others is having having fun, having more fun, stepping into your um your um stepping into your inner child, waking up your inner child. You know, um doing things you don't usually do, trying to be a little bit more spontaneous, um. And, you know, just allowing yourself to live life like how you would like to live life and not have to worry about who's going to feel like what, who, who, like, who's going to question you and why are you doing it like this and why are you not doing it like that? I feel like you in a space where you don't give a hell. You're going to do what the fuck you want to do. It's going to make you happy, making you feel like I cannot wait to wake up. I cannot believe this is my life. I can't believe like you. I feel like you're feeling good because I feel like a lot of good shit is happening with the Ten of Wands. I said the Ten of Wands. I'm sorry. With the Will of Fortune and the Ten of Cups, I feel like you are feeling content. Some of you are getting married some of you are either getting married you met somebody maybe you are even adopting a child you could be pregnant um you could just recently have had a kid or you just moved into your apartment or your house your condo like you you doing shit you know what i'm saying 
And that's how you about to shock others is that you're actually really happy. You're really content in the space that you're in. You understand? Like you have the nine of cups, you have your fulfillment, you have, um, you know, you, what you wish for, you manifest it. It's just like you getting rewarded, like how you want to get rewarded. You have your ace of cup and you know, you, you loving on yourself, you focusing on yourself. Like, I feel like you feel complete, you feel content. And it's just like, people are envious of how much you love yourself and how happy you are. And that's what's about to shock others is that you're not like, you know, um, that's the blockage. That's the blockage. You being happy. That's how you about to shock others. You being happy, you being content, either with the person that you're with or the lifestyle that you're, you're living, whatever it may be. I feel like that's what's about to shock others, period. You know? I feel like with the four wands at the bottom of the deck, some of you could have recently gotten married. Like I said, you are you moved or something within that nature. Or you moved and you didn't tell anybody you was moving. Um, something like that. You came into some money, didn't tell me that you came into some money, or you just look like money. I, I don't know. Some of you could have even won a legal matter with the justice card being the overall energy. Like, you could have won a legal matter, and you you probably took somebody to court, and they part, people didn't expect you to take this person to court, or people didn't expect you to win, or um, people didn't think that you were going to get such a huge amount of money. And I feel like that's how you about to shock others. I feel like you about to either come into, like, it's not either or. I really feel like um, you coming into some money. And I don't feel like it's not a huge, like, oh, my God, your life is set for life. But it's definitely something that's going to help you be set for life, whatever this, um, um, this amount of money is. That's how you about to shock others. Let me keep going. Excuse me. Make these messages as clear as possible. Universe. How is pile number three about to shock others? That was a horrible shuffle. How is pile number three about to shock others? How is pawn number three about to shock others? Make these messages as clear as possible. How is pawn number three about to shock others? All right, so the card that came, the cards that came out is number 13, Will. We have number nine, Assessing, and we have number 28, Peace. So I just feel like the way that you're about to shock others is the fact that you have the willpower to do whatever you want to do. Um, you know what you want to do with yourself with this assessing. You see where you want to go, and you're going there slowly, slowly but surely, but you have your eye on the prize. And that's what's about to shock others is that you are focused, <laughs> period. And you are at peace. You're happy. I don't know why that's a problem. I don't know why that's a problem. You could have been someone that probably was living young, wild, and free, whatever the case is. Or, you know, people were so used to you. Um... You could have been someone that was, like, mousy. What I mean by mousy is, like, you know, you don't have, like, you wasn't loud. You wasn't, like, you wasn't, I just feel like you wasn't speaking up for yourself. For some of you, of course. Make these messages as clear as possible. And you was allowing people to come back and forth. And I feel like, like I said, you could have took somebody to court. You could have won a legal matter in some way, shape, or form. Like, things is, like, going in your favor. A lot of things is going in your favor. And that's shocking people. Like, they're like, what the fuck, How? Some of you, for, some of you could have even got released out of a jail or something like that, and then you just a lot of good shit just was happening after that. Like you was focused. Make these messages as clear as possible. How is pile number three about to shock others? Give me one card. How is pile number three about to shock others? How is pile number three about to shock others? Okay, we have number twenty-five, high honor, respecting yourself. Number thirty-nine, community, people closest to you, is about to be acting real funny. So be aware of that. So pound number three, that's all I have for you. I hope that it resonated. Some of you could have <laughs> some of you could have been part of the army or the marines or something like that. And you getting um like you doing some like some some type of step up. I don't even know. Like a ceremony is happening for you as well. People are shocked about that. But my beautiful pile number three, that's all I have for you. I hope that it resonated. If it did, let me know in the comment section. I will catch you in the next one. Peace out, babies.